Hey, what's up everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds. And in this video, I'll show you guys how to do surfacing. So let's get started. Okay, here's our part. It's the same part as our uh, most recent video. And what we want to do is we want to surface those uh, corner radiuses on the part. So first thing we have to do is we have to set up our stock. We do this so when we go to watch our tool path, we can we can get a good idea of what's going on. So we set up our stock, put on stock plane 100, and we click on the corner of what coordinate system is. We add our Z depth, which is 0.75, and we'll have it about 10 thou above our Z zero. Actually, we're going to change that z-depth to 1 inch. Okay, so our stock is set up, our work coordinate system is set up, and we have some wireframe to work with. What we want to do is face the part first. We'll use a quarter inch bull end mill. We'll edit the tool. It doesn't have a 62 thou radius, it has a 10, so we'll change that. We'll change the name. The tool, it'll be tool 1. Speeds and feeds, we'll go to easyspeedsandfeeds.com. We'll find some information we need. Type in quarter inch. We have a 10,000 RPM spindle, so we have to find a a surface footage that works. So we'll try 600 and it's a three fluter. We're going one thou inch per tooth so that's about nine thousand and we'll call it 30 inches a minute. So we'll type in 30 9,000 RPM. Cut parameters, stock to leave on floors, we'll set that at zero. Linking, depth at zero, that's good. So we're just gonna change the style to zigzag. It gives it a better finish because the tool never comes up in Z just stays down. Okay, so next we're going to dynamic all the stock. So we'll click on the stock boundary and then avoidance region, so we'll just click on the profile, hit the check. The depth is going to be minus 750,000, cut parameters, 25,000 step over, that's okay. We'll use tool one. Okay, so the part is faced and we took away most of the stock. Now we just have to finish the outside before we can start surfacing. So we're just gonna contour the outside. Use the same tool. We'll do a ramp contour. So as you go, every time it goes around the perimeter of the part, it'll go down 50 thou. So it ramps it. So now the part is ready to be surfaced. We can't surface the part without first facing off the top and getting rid of all the stock and finishing the outside. So we'll just verify it real quick to get an idea. So hit play and that's what we got. Now we need to add the corner radiuses. So in the 3D toolpath selection we'll go down to flow line. We'll activate the solid level and we're just going to click on the surfaces we want to flow line. So we click on our surfaces, go down to the flow line option, click
click on cut direction and you can mess with your start and step direction and that just changes which way the toolpath starts um, which direction and then step changes if you want to start at the top of the radius or down lower so we're going to start down lower we'll go to finish full line and we're going to go by distance we're going to set it to 2000 we're going to go zigzag we'll use the same tool since it has a corner radius we can um, we can surface with it and we'll kick the feed rate up to 60 inches a minute because we're only stepping over 2,000. So we're taking light cuts. And we're going fast. And that is what it generated. So let's check it out. We'll just back plot it first. So it's starting low. It's stepping over 2,000 and it's zigzagging around the profile of the part. So we're at minus 207 thou. Now we're at minus 205 thou. And it's going to go over to the other side of the part. You can see it's stepping up in Z, over in X, over in Y by about 2 thou. We're going to go to our gap setting. We're going to add about 100 thou on tangential line length just so it goes further it goes further than the end of the part. So this is the verify. And it's stepping over 2,000, going fast, 60 inches a minute. And it's just surfacing those uh, corner radiuses. So it's pretty simple using flow line. Um, I like to use flow line when I'm using the same tool. So I'll do, say, finish the, the top of the part, finish the outside of the part, and then finish the surface all with the same tool. And it gives you a really good blend. And uh, yeah, that's our little short tutorial on how to use uh, flow line and how to surface a part. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be on the lookout, and uh, thanks for watching.